Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your teacher Osman Ali and we are discussing exercise 5-7. This is the first numerical that uh, we are starting with actually. So we are supposed to prepare the current assets section for a balance sheet. The information given to us is this. So we only need information which is related to current assets actually. Like finish good. Yes, we need this information. Revenue received in advance. So this is kind of a liability. We don't need this. Bank war draft is liability. We don't need it. Equipment is a long term asset. We don't need it. Work in process. Yes. Cash. Yes. Short term investment. Yes. Customer advances are current liabilities. We don't need it. Cash restricted for plant expansion. Uh, there is uh, a role of that. We will discuss cost of goods sold. It's related to income statement. We don't need this one. Uh, note receivable. Uh, if it's a short term we need it if it is a long term we don't need it or could there could be interest on this so I will leave it like this right now account receivable yes raw material yes supplies expenses no allowance for doubtful account yes license no additional paid in capital it's related to equity we don't need it treasury stock we don't need it then there are some additional formation like inventories are valued at lower cost or market so that's it it's uh, simple it's nothing has extra to offer equipment is recorded equipment is a long-term asset so we don't need this information short-term investment have a fair value of twenty nine thousand dollar actually so we had a short-term investment of uh, current market value twenty nine thousand keep this thing in mind we will be in need of this one I will keep put an arrow here note receivables are due on April 30 2006 it makes it long term because today is 2004 and it will be recovered in six in two years it's long term the interest receivable is on april 30 so okay there is an interest and that is related to our current asset section allows for doubtful account yes this is something which is related to this our numerical licensing is an intangible asset we don't need that treasury stock equity we don't need that so this is the information what we need and what we don't need so let's solve the numerical actually uh, in order to overcome with uh, come up with a what you can say summary of this okay so let's solve the numerical then uh, I will first you can write the name of the company and other things but we are only preparing a partial balance sheet so there is no need to particularly format a format follow a format actually so I will just give a heading here of current assets and whatever current assets we have so we can just directly write here like the very first current asset that we have is uh, cash actually okay so I will write here cash okay but there was some information related to cash like look at this cash we have is thirty seven thousand dollars but there is cash restricted for plant expansion fifty thousand so you do know what is a restriction because of our ppt chapter okay you do know that now actually it means we have fifty thousand plus thirty seven thousand we have actually eighty seven thousand dollar cash with ourselves but out of this we have certain kind of uh, restrictions or restricted cash which cannot be used due to plant expansion how much it is it is fifty thousand dollar so right now the cash that we have and we can use it immediately whenever we want is actually thirty seven thousand dollar this is the adjustment of that okay then the next uh, thing is short-term investments in stock thirty one thousand dollar but actually our short term investment now instead of 39 it has a $29,000 uh, what you can say value okay so I'm gonna use this short term investments and I am using the current market value you can call it as a fair value actually so the fair value of this is $29,000 okay so that, that's what we got here. Then after short term investments, if you remember, we go for account receivable. So we have account receivable of 161000 Let me write it here. Plus account receivable. And we had a value of uh, $1,61,000. Remember this. And obviously from every account receivable, we used to subtract allowance for doubtful uh, account. If we have any allowances actually, so let's see if we have any allowance allowance for doubtful account is twelve thousand dollars so i will minus this twelve thousand dollar from it okay so one lakh and sixty one thousand minus twelve thousand dollars 
so we will get one lakh and forty nine thousand dollars here okay but by the way if you remember here we had a the allowance for doubtful account applies to the account receivable that's fine we just did it account receivable of fifty thousand dollars are pledged as collateral on bank loan now it nothing gonna change a lot of things but as we out of this one lakh and sixty one thousand account receivable we have a fifty thousand dollar collateral as well so we, we just need to like give this information it should be like full disclosure no? so i can write here like fifty thousand dollars are pledged okay with sorry for writing it small bank so i have pledged out of 161 i have pledged 50000 it does not changes technically anything okay it will be 161 but out of just that 50000 so it's just i want to give an extra information related to account receivable to the uh, to those people who are actually evaluating uh, my company's current asset section okay after that uh, we will go for note receivables but as you remember note receivables were having a life of two years so this forty thousand dollar cannot be written there but there was something related to note receivable that the interest receivable every 30th september today is uh, 2004 30th first december and interest is received after every one year so it's it's like we started a journey like this that we start we we had a note receivable started on 1st of may 2004 and today we are on 31st december 2004 so how many months have gone uh, so that's like may june july august september october november december so we have eight months journey journey is already done actually though that the money will be received after one year but as per the matching principle, I must find the eight months interest actually. Okay, so let's calculate the eight months interest. I will use the the bottom section actually uh, to do so. So if I want to know that how much interest I am eligible to receive or interest receivable. So this would be our present value. Uh, sorry, the principal amount. Okay, multiply by the interest percentage and i will multiply that with the fraction of year so our principal amount was forty thousand dollar if you remember it the interest percentage let's see what is our interest percentage the interest percentage is 12 percent okay so it's 12 percent that would be 0.12 and for how many months we want to know uh, that interest calculation that's eight months so it will be eight and how many months are there in one year 12 so if you solve it you will get your interest earnings of 3200 for the eight months actually okay so that's how we will calculate the interest i will write here plus interest receivable okay i'm not writing note receivable because you know that the life of the note receivable is two years it expires in 2006 and today it is 2004 so we cannot write the only interest amount we will write so that's plus 3200 and then after that we will see if we have any inventories so we do have inventories if you see finished good work in process finished good 52,000 work in process 34,000 raw material 2 lakh and 7 so let's plus uh, all of them together to calculate the inventory value okay so let's calculate inventory in inventory we got raw material we got work in process and we got finished good actually the raw material was uh, two lakh and seven thousand the work in process was thirty four thousand and the finished good we had was fifty two thousand actually so ladies and gentlemen we will add them up it would become two lakh and ninety three thousand dollars after inventory we used to go for any prepaid expenses if we had any so if i see in the numerical i don't see anything by the name of prepaid expenses so that's it we are done with it so let's plus 37 plus 29 plus 149 plus 3 200 and 2 lakh and 93 we will get a total value of 5 lakh 11 thousand and 200 dollar this is actually not the total of assets this is only the total of current assets that we have okay 
So this is it. Uh, this was actually our numerical exercise 5-7 where we were only supposed to calculate the uh, current assets here. Okay. So that, that's the uh, overall game. The only tricky part you need to remember is the restricted cash thing that we, it means we have $87,000 cash with us. But out of eighty-seven, fifty thousand dollars is not available right away. So we only write it in the main column that cash amount which is available on the spot right away. We can utilize it to pay bills or other uh, expenses and other things. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe.